Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. And I got to tell you, there's so much that I have and I want to share with you this week. So many things. But this is the time of the year when things are really happening. You know, one of the reports that I wanted to talk about is the rapid change that takes place in spring. No matter what we're fishing for, that change can be so amazingly sudden and rapid. You know, look... Just look at your own home, look at your lawn, and look at how one day it will look like whatever it looks like, and the next day the grass has grown overnight to such an extent. Well, the same thing is happening underwater, and the weeds are coming up. What was what you experienced, let's say, three days ago, you might go out tomorrow, and it'd be completely different in the same place because the weeds have come up. Bait moves in and out. The fish change their habits based on these changes. And these changes can be exciting, they can be fun, but boy, I'll tell you what, when when something happens, we need to take advantage of it when it's happening, because tomorrow it might be a little bit different. I got to tell you about my experience in the Oswegatchie River. It was a wonderful day in Ogdensburg where anybody and everybody can walk along the river, walk there across from Hosmer's Marina and try to catch a fish. And boy, are there fish ever in the river. Right now, all the fish from Lake Ontario that will come up rivers, come up rivers. For example, smallmouth bass in huge numbers move into any of the rivers coming in to the St. Lawrence, whether it be the Oswegatchie, the Grass, the Racket, whatever river empties in there and there's free access, those fish are going to start migrating up. This is the time of the year they do that. But I tell you, I think the reason most people are congregating down in Ogdensburg at the Oswegatchie <laughs> River Walk there is because the walleyes. The walleyes have come in. They came in there way before season started. They're still in the river, and there's some incredible fishing. What makes it so special? And I'm going to take another report and talk about the phenomenon of what happens down there in a given period of time in terms of the atmosphere, the happening that is part of the fishing experience along the Oswegatchie. But I got to tell you, it is full of fish. And if you've never had a chance to catch any of these fish, if you haven't, this is a place to go because you can throw out just about anything and something's going to bite it, whether it's a walleye, a bass, a pike. There's all kinds of different panfish and carpet. Everything come in there. It really is not only a smorgasbord area for predator fish, but for wannabe fishermen. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.